everyone and welcome back to my channel. You might be able to tell like the setup is quite different or I'm in a different space but basically I've gotten two new soft boxes and you guys are finally on a tripod not on a load of books. So I'm going to be testing out today this Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette and I did use it yesterday but I did not like the looks that I did. So we're going to test it out again, we're going to create a fun look and it's going to be lots of blues, etc, etc. So let's jump straight on into the video. As you can see my face is already done, we are just going to be doing my eyes. But I thought we would jump into this with a big Morphe MV23 and I'm just going to go into the shade Trick which is like this medium blue, just there. I'm just, you know what, I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. I'm gonna go into my Morphe 441 brush onto Trick. So yeah, I got two new soft boxes off Amazon. They came yesterday and I was filming and I tried to film like, because basically I had to move like my room around to fit the soft boxes in. Um, so I had to move my room around and I was filming like the reorganisation of my, um, what do you call it? Of the room. So I was filming the reorganisation of my room and my camera died. So I wasn't, I was like, oh no. So when I was trying to then re-upload, uh, then recharge my camera, I was cleaning when it was charging. And then I finished cleaning, I was like, oh, like I was meant to record filming. I was meant to wait for my camera to charge and then film, like film reorganising. I've just gone into the shade, um, elixir which is this lighter blue and we're going to place it on the like over where the dark blue is just to blend it out a tiny bit wee bit more so yeah that was my thing yesterday and i really like I i'm in makeup by alex's kate's patreon group and i said like my eyes had gone really funny using this palette like it was really patchy and everyone was like no like everyone was kind of like really like when i used it it was lovely blah 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 so I was like, well, I'm going to have to try and play with it again and maybe use like a different base or do something different. So I'm just going back into Trick just to deepen that blue up just because I thought, oh, well, it could be maybe have been the base that I used or something. So I really want to give this palette another shot and really see like what its true potential is. But right now it's doing well, like it is blending out. I do think these shades, like they're not as, like they're not a creamy matte, but they are, they are easy to blend out. So this is how it's looking so far. It's just going to be a really simple look, but I am going to go into, and it is going to be a simple look because none of my brushes are clean. Um, I'm going to go into the shade spell which is like this deep green which I really did enjoy when I put this onto my eye so I'm just going to apply this just on the inner half of my eye as you can see it looks really nice so far I did really like the shimmers in this palette yesterday like I never had an issue with the shimmers so I do think when you apply this, don't set, like I, I think when I did it, I did my full face and by accident I set my eyes with powder and I think that's why it became patchy. So I definitely wouldn't set my eyes with powder before going in with this palette, I would just leave it blended out without the powder. And then just over the top of that colour, I'm going to go into the shade Crystal, which looks like this. 
basically I've not got a mirror behind like the camera anymore and I'm just gonna go right on the outer corner where of where the blue and the green meets just so it looks a bit more blended yeah so basically I've not got a, a mirror behind me at the minute so I can't see like what you what you would be seeing so just for now I'm trying to like look behind on the floor and um, there's a mirror down there on the floor just to make sure you guys can see everything wow that is stunning and I'm really going to try and deepen this up a tiny bit more and I'm going to go into this was if you see my Primark, Primark testing out haul you would have seen I had a little brush like this but I think I'm going to go in with this brush which is also from the Primark set um, and I'm just going to go into that shade Cursed which is like this deep, deep blue. Just gonna try and deepen that up. I'm just bringing it through a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back into this big Morphe MB23. My hands turn weird because of them colours. And I'm just going to try and blend the two shades out together and wing it out a bit more. Yeah, also when I used it, there was quite a lot of fallout. And it, like I'd done my face before and I was like, it was staying in my face. But this time for some reason it doesn't seem to be doing that. But I am using the same brushes. Yeah, I really, you know what, that's really nice. Really nice, I like that. So I'm going to go and do my under eyes with you and then I'll go off camera and apply some lashes. So I'm going to go into this Essence Aurora brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to go in with the shade Sorcery, which is like this purple shade and Enchanted. And I'm just going to blend them two together and place it under my lid. And then I'm going to go into my Chloe Morton MUA Pro brush, which looks like this. It's a bit thicker, um, but just to blend it out. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go off camera, do my other eye, apply some lashes, and then I'll come back to do my um, highlight with you and my lips. Back, I've applied my lashes. I used for lashes, and um, I got these in a secret Santa from Alex Kate's Patreon group. So they are the BGX lashes. So thank you, Victoria. They are lovely. They're so lightweight and fluttery, and I feel like they're really nice everyday lash. But yeah, so I've done that. So now we're gonna do my lips. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe lip liner called Love Bite. Just gonna use this to line my lips. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Babe in the Morphe lipstick. And I'm also forgot that I didn't apply any blush. So I'm going to apply some blush from the Morphe 8C palette, which looks like this. And I'm just going to go into the shade Driven, which is like this peachy shade, peachy pink. I'm just really concentrate on the backs of my like high points. I'm just going to drag it over my nose. 
And then I'm also going to apply some highlight. And I'm going to go in with my favourite highlight, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy highlight, which looks like this. As you can see, I've really used it. And I'm going to use my Morphe 510 brush. So yeah, this is my finished look, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a few days. I've just had so much Christmas things to sort out. But I am back, and I think from, like, not next week, but the week after, it'll be three videos a week. I haven't picked a date yet, but I will let you know. Um, but yeah, so give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. I do give this palette a big thumbs up now that I know how to play with it a bit more but yeah see you guys in my next video bye